Okay, um, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay the next shift. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay tonight. Is, is that okay? Yeah. Is it a problem? Is it a problem? Oh. Um, okay, I, I, yeah, I just, um, uh, I'll give you a call in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just going to stay tonight. I'll, I, I'll be home about 7.30. Okay. All right, I love you. Okay, bye. So you went for it? Yes. Not happy, but, yeah. You booked a uh, hotel room already? Hotel room is booked. Keys in my car. Alright, but... How could you do this to me, Anna? You are my wife! Hey, um, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay the next year. I, okay, so, I, I hope this ain't that pushing P stuff I've been hearing about. You know what I mean? I've been hearing the last couple years about this pushing P. I hope this ain't what that is. This nigga pushing a homosexuality. You know what I mean? I'm a, and I'm going to just give you some game right quick. Didn't August Alcina just come out as gay? Yeah. Didn't August Alcina, he's famously known for dating Jada Pinkett behind Will Smith's back, mm. had committed adultery, entanglement, or whatever, and now he came out as a homosexual? Because a man that is purposely wanting to have sex with another man's woman, you flat, you flirting a thin line between homosexuality. You feel me? Because not only is that this man's possession, you feel me? You're thinking about this man. Just look at the video. The whole time. That's why he had to record the video. You feel me? To show like, look, I'm taking this man's woman. His woman want to go home with me. And by the way, she looked like damn Hansel and Gretel. You feel me? This woman look like she old as hell. You feel me? Real talk. So you ain't really bust no real move. You just probably half a homo. Like real talk. They call it stand, standing on the fence, teeter totting. Yeah. He, he, on the seesaw. Yeah. He, on the, he on the seesaw. He on the seesaw just bouncing back and forth. He don't know what he want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna stay tonight. Yeah, but only a, a, a man that records stuff like this. You feel me? This is this is gay. There ain't nothing manly about this. This is gay as hell. You soft as hell for doing this shit. If the man pulled up, you feel me? If he pulled up, he probably would run. He would definitely run. He probably would run. Jump out the window. Oh, oh no, nah, she wanted me. No, nah, nigga, you wanted her. You feel me? You wanted her and specifically because you knew she was married. Real talk. All these single women out here they single as can be. They put their babies in the box. You hear me? Go damn help one of them with they, they damn they single mothers everywhere. Go get one of them. You want a woman that's married, a white woman at that, an old white lady. Come on, man, stop it. We living in a rough time. I haven't said that none in my life. Yeah, uh, we living in a rough time. He, he, he probably think he'll pray and send her back to her husband. Uh, her husband goes, he, I'm going to stick by my woman no matter what. Yeah, man. Come on, man, stop it. <laughs> You gotta do better, man. Yeah. Ain't nothing gangster about this, man. Nothing. You know what would have been gangster? Turning her down. Let's say she yeah. did come on to him at work. Him turning her down. That would have gave him some type of masculinity and power. Like, no, nah, I can control myself. But this dumbass nigga started recording the video. Goofy over goofy as hell. Is, is that okay? Yeah. Is it a problem? Is it a problem? He think he that nigga. He think he did. I, I don't know why you think you that nigga because of this, nigga. You really goofy as hell, nigga. Real talk. So you going, you going to a hotel with another man's woman and you think you did something? Yeah, you ain't really did nothing but played you yourself. Played yourself, right. Real talk. You will never be able to have a, a relationship with a woman. You feel me? When you do, when you out there living like that, you will never be able to have a, a comfortable relationship with a woman because you're going to always think about stuff like this. Like damn, I remember I used to work with this lady, and she came. She she got a hotel, and I, I was flirting with her. And this and that, one of my women out there doing that. You would never have a peace of mind. You would never have a peace of mind if you out there living like this. Problem? Oh. 
Um, okay, I, yeah, I just, uh, I'll give you a call in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, I'm just going to stay tonight. I'll, I, I'll be home about 7.30. Man, but if you ever find out your woman is living like this, man, let that bitch go. Right. I'm going to just keep it real with you. It's more fish in the sea. Girls are like buses. Miss one, next 15, one coming. That was Gucci Mane said that. <laughs> Gucci Mane said that. Yeah, bro. Okay. You know, the, the fun thing about it is, you know what I'm saying, like, nigg niggas will get a woman like this, and then uh, uh, the the woman's man will find out, leave her, and then he'll get with her, and then think that she's going to do right by him. Right. Like, nah, she's going to do the same That's, that's how it happened, though. That's why you say it ain't no but, reason But don't, why. It, don't it happen like it that. just like that. He, he thinking, like, this is going to be his woman now, when the whole time is... Probably nice for the street. She's on the street. She's probably gonna be jumping around, and now you mad, and you can never have a good relationship. Right. You never have a good relationship if you living like this. You'll never. It'll never happen. All right. I love you. Okay. Bye. So you went for it. Yes. So you went, so for, you went it. for it. Why you so worried? That's what I said. You having sex with another man's woman, man. You worried about him too much. You feel me? And I hope you ain't thinking about him while you having sex with him. And you probably, probably is. is. He probably is. Which is gay. That's what I'm saying. You flirting a thin line. And you niggas out there thinking it's cool. Is any niggas out there thinking that it's cool to have sex with another man's woman and you flirting a fine line with homosexuality? I'm right. just keeping it real with you. Not happy, but yeah. <laughs> you booked a uh, hotel room already? Motherfucking marriage was probably already trash. Yeah. It probably was already over with. And he thinking that he the man. And he done did something. Y'all yeah, yeah. a married woman. Nigga, that relationship was done, nigga. Look how they talking on the phone. He don't even give a fuck. He ain't arguing with her, trying to make her come home or nothing. Yeah, yeah. Home, Stay your ass up. What you talking about? He probably dealt with a lovely Another bitch. Woman, yeah. <laughs> he with the baby <laughs> yeah, He with the baby <laughs> He with the nanny. He with the nanny. <laughs> he with the nanny. <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't bred her old crusty ass. I don't even care. And that's why she sound kind of sad, too, probably. Cause she probably know that nigga don't give a fuck about her dumb ass. She know that her husband is doing whatever the fuck he want to do. And she just trying to get back. Hotel room is booked. He's in my car. Yeah, that's that's a heavy point you just made too. Cause that 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 be when uh, uh, women wanna cheat or even give a goofy ass nigga like this a yeah. chance is because she wants she uh, he done did something she didn't like. He done he got another woman, so now she think. She supposed, you know what I'm saying? Get back. That's the only reason why he even stand a chance. Don't even know it. He don't and even he, know it. And he don't, he, nah, yeah, I'm just that nigga. Nah, bitch, you the, you the, you the half a homo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You was not that nigga. That's why you got to record it. That's why you and look good. Why, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you, ah, yeah, look at this, y'all. Why would you did this, record it? Man, you ain't this shit, bro. Why would you record it, though? And then, and then, what happened? Since when did that become that, part is, of the is game? that push and pee stuff they've been talking about? I've been hearing about this pushing P, and I say I don't like that word. So that shit sound a little feminine to me. Sound like y'all doing some other shit. I'm gonna just keep it real. I, I've never known that to be part of the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Recording, getting, getting a woman to come to a hotel. Man, I, I thought, never. No, when did we get so loud about stuff that's supposed to be quiet? Right. You know hear I me? Mean? Right. When did we start doing that? Like stuff that's supposed to be done in the dark. We loud as fuck about it. Man. Mm -hmm. All right. How could you do this to me, Anna? That crazy. It's the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 18. Flee fornication. Right. Now, I heard a new word that came out this week. Everybody been talking about what it's called, demure. <laughs> and it's about, and they said the definition of it is being like modest, you know? Mm. Being modest. And that's something that ain't been going on for the past what a hundred years done that? Modesty is done. Women walking around naked with titty tape on, it's, uh, thongs and Jordans. My modest means reserved or serious. God damn, that's that's well, that's the word for the day because that is not what's been happening this past week. You feel me? It's been nothing but fornication, and the Bible say flee from fornication, run away from it. You feel me? It is not cool. You should not record it. This nigga running to fornication. You supposed to be running from it. Real talk. Every sin that a man doeth 
It's without the body. Right. When you sin, it's without your body. It's your mind. You feel me? It's Satan in your mind telling you to do it. You feel me? Go ahead. Okay. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. And that's the big thing about fornication. You feel me? You feel, you commit fornication, which is unlawful sex. You feel me? You sinning against your own body. You training your body to do stuff and want stuff that it was never supposed to. You feel me? That it was never supposed to. And that's why the damn AIDS and STDs is running rampant. That's why it's all these babies with this fatherless destroying the neighborhood. All these women with multiple baby daddies. You feel me? All these niggas that, with a bunch of kids that they don't want by women that they didn't want. You feel me? Because you're sinning against your own body. When you fornicate, you're sinning against your body. You feel me? You're training your body to do stuff that it ain't supposed to do. It ain't supposed to want. Real talk. Like another man's woman. Yeah, that's all I have on that. Okay. All right. We'll drop that. We'll go ahead to the last video.